Hey, what's happening there, guys? Elton McFall here. You're looking at a 19, early 1930s Buick. And even at that time, Buicks were gorgeous. And it's funny that I'm here in the Chambly, Quebec, right next to Ford Chambly there. I think this was built in like 1711 or something. And uh, just a beautiful site right here by the river, the Rivière Richelieu. And I actually filmed the 35 Buick Roadmaster over there earlier. And then you got this one here. I don't know. These guys are tinkering with the motor there. And um, it looks to be like a 33, 34. Just a beautiful restoration. There happens to be like a 31 Pontiac Park right next to it. Look at the woodwork on that. My lordy, is that ever well done. I once, you know, I'm only 46, so I've never rode in many cars from this era. I did ride in a 28 Model A pickup once, which is like, you know, everything's vibrating. It's very special, that's for sure. But uh, I also rode in a 1925 Willys Overland. Yeah, you see, look, this is this car is part of a club. It says the only club in Quebec uh, dedicated to cars built before 1939. Hey. Dedicated to cars built before 1939. That says a lot in this day and age in 2022. Because I worry about the old car hobby, specifically because of cars like this, because there's not enough interest in cars like this. So if you're younger than me and you're watching this video, good for you because most younger people, you're into like muscle cars and stuff. So uh, these are the pioneering days of motoring, you know? I don't know what the gentleman is doing there. Uh, oh, it's a McLaughlin Buick. Cool. C'est quoi que vous êtes en train de faire, monsieur? Oh, it doesn't want to start. It's too cold. Venez, venez pas de loin. Tedford Mines? Ouais, mais je l'ai monté sur trailer. Okay, he brought it on a trailer. Yeah, Tedford Mines isn't close by. Eh? Yeah, that iconic Buick straight bar grill. Oh, excuse me, my sir. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Oh, something responding. Well, man, Richard, I'm going to go to the TD. Can you do it? Wait, wait. You could bang on the starter. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're made in Canada. You can do it. <laughs> Hey, regarde, on plus pire, là, on va se pousser la gang, il va se starter au bout. Ah, il va partir pour hein? bien sûr. <laughs> on va se mettre 10 en arrière, là, puis. I made a joke saying, we'll all get in the back of the car and push the car and it'll start, you know. Stop to pedal. We'll push, we'll push. We'll push it towards the river. <laughs> Here, this one's for you, Scott. But I was serious about what I said before, eh? in all seriousness, about this hobby and these classic cars of this era, you know, from the 40s and earlier, there's not enough interest because they're just so old. So it's understandably, if guys are in their teens, 20s, 30s, they're not really interested in this stuff. It's, it's not hard to see why, you know. I was only going to make this video about this Buick, but I figured, well, why not just include a few cars together, you know, like this Pontiac with a really old paint job and look at that plate that 79 plate that was the first year for the the white quebec plates with the blue letters so whoever owns this has owned the car for probably a, more than 40 years little pedal car here man i like this pontiac though too it's funny because you look at these two cars it's night and day one is plain jane no white walls no frills the radiator shell was probably repainted instead of chromed can't say I've seen many Pontiacs in this era. 
See me, it's funny. I've always been old school, and and more the more time goes on, the more I like these cars from these eras because they're still around. They're still here. Anything can happen, you know. A fire, a flood, freaking tree falls on a barn. You know, anything can happen. But I don't know. I'm gonna look at this in a second. I don't know what that is. Look at the old. Uh, Oh wow, look at the lace type of, like a tablecloth over the seats, that's cute. Yeah, very original, eh? This one here. You know, it's funny, I had to wonder looking at this paint when I first looked at it, I said, man, is this original? Because it's, you can see it's a really old paint job, but it probably isn't, it's just a really old repaint. And then what's this guy here? I can't make this out. It's not a Chrysler. Is it a DeSoto? <laughs> what is this? What is this car? Even I don't know. Oh my God, I feel like an idiot. I don't even know what this car is. That's a Plymouth. It's a Plymouth. 1934, incredible. My God, I saw a 34 Dodge Cabriolet at a show in Farnham last year. And now there's a Plymouth version of it. My, oh my, that is some automobile. That plate alone is worth a few bucks, let me tell you. Uh, good luck finding that. Depression era, you know, depression era cars, parts, license plates. I mean, these cars were made at a time where people had nothing, you know? And uh, this car here it belongs to a very well known man, actually. It's, a very imposing Cadillac, which one day I'm hoping I'm going to get a ride in it. It's a 25 Caddy. Of course, in those years, they probably didn't even call them Caddies. That's how, uh, that's how old it is. It's like a Phaeton. And he, uh, the gentleman who owns this, he was the, uh, the president of the, uh, the VACM, I think. Oh, VACM or VAQ? I'm not even sure anymore. He's got a sign there. What is it? Hmm. Look at this. There's even a step here for the engine. Is that original? Wow. Anyway, one time I saw Gilbert who owns this, I told him, I said, listen, one day you got to take me for a ride in this car, man. Like, really. Really nice. Oh, well, there's one more here we should look at, actually. Here's a Model A. Yeah, very stock Model A with a four-cylinder. Beautiful colors. I love that with the burgundy and the black. It's a very nice touch. It's just a very fitting area for this kind of a show, you know. And you got your river here, and look, there's boats there, and man, it couldn't be a perfect, more more perfect day than this. Really, incredible. Incredible cars, incredible sight, nice people. This is this is living, man. This is a gift, and that's a 31. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking of actually who loves these is Derek from uh, Vice Grip Garage. He loves these Model A's. He bought one actually, I think, just like this. How many cars does this guy have left now? But man, this car has got to be an old restoration because look how dulled out the headlights are. Hey, look, it's got the uh, the shroud for the grill, the grill guard. Beautiful. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, that's it for that. Thanks for watching. We're going to hang around a little bit, see if we can help this guy push his, his Buick up there so his McLaughlin Buick so it starts am I right though am I right is it a 34 or 32 31 32, 32 hein? hey imagine quand la dépression a commencé là quelqu'un qui achetait ça là hein, les, les pauvres là, il lâchait des roches à propos des gars comme ça tu sais quasiment hey is that a is that a, a work of art or what ah, incroyable Mécanique. Ah, regarde ça, tu es un petit terminal ici. 
I remember I took a picture of one of these once at a show in uh, Dorval, but it was, it was, uh, uh, how do we say in French, sans inverse, it was the opposite, it was blue with white striping. 